I cannot change the laws of physics. Engineering, arguably one of the most iconic roles in science fiction. Everyone has dreamed of stepping into the shoes of Scotty or LaForge, and it's easy to see why. Ensuring the ship's smooth operation, not only in the heat of battle, but also during the routine flights, offers a deeply satisfying experience. And in Star Citizen, this seems to be the goal. In this video, we'll go through a summary of the planned gameplay from CIG and end with a review of what they have presented us. Engineering gameplay is slated to fundamentally change how ships function and are maintained in Star Citizen. It is a complex, systemic feature that will enable true multi-crew cooperation through interdependent ship systems. At its core, engineering will involve managing a ship's resources like power, fuel, and consumables in order to keep components running optimally. Players will be able to overclock components to get better performance out of them, at the risk of increased wear and potential damage over time. Conversely, players can underclock components to save resources if maximum performance isn't needed. Life support systems will require players to actively maintain a breathable atmosphere within ships by managing air composition, temperature and pressure levels. Consumable components like air scrubbers to remove CO2 will need periodic replacement. Players will be able to control life support settings on a per-room basis and manage resource routing accordingly. Failure to keep life support systems running properly could result in catastrophic outcomes like crew suffocation. In addition to optimizing systems, players will need to perform routine maintenance on ship components. This includes replacing broken or excessively worn-out items as they fail over time. Damage to one component can also cause cascading failures that propagate through other connected systems. The engineering gameplay will model complex component behaviours, like degradation states, that cause gradual efficiency loss as wear accumulates. Rather than just damage, components will also be susceptible to complex malfunctions, including things like disconnected relays, power surges or leaks, clogged resources lines, unresponsive controls and more. Fixing these malfunctions will require player skill, unique mini-games tailored to each issue, and hands-on interaction. The frequency of malfunctions will be influenced by factors like travel distance and how aggressively components have been tuned outside stock specifications. To support different playstyles, the engineering role itself will be divided into sub-roles like tuner, mechanic, and manager. Tuners will focus on optimizing component configurations for maximum efficiency, reliability, or performance. Mechanics will handle more hands-on component repair and fixing issues as they arise. Managers will take a big-picture view of the ship's overall systems and help coordinate engineering efforts. Importantly, any player can take on any of these roles and freely switch between them as needed. Sabotage of enemy ships will be made possible by gaining hacking access to components and adjusting their operating states or propagating through connected ship systems. Counter-hacking measures could help prevent or mitigate unauthorized access. It's important to note engineering gameplay and its associated roles will extend beyond just ships to stations, ground vehicles and other facilities as well. Some players have expressed concern about the system's complexity. However, implementing engineering functions will not be an absolute requirement for ship operation. NPC crew members will be able to handle engineering duties for players who may be uninterested in that gameplay. Individuals will also still be able to operate ships with stock component configurations and by utilizing regular repair services when needed. However, optimizing performance through diligent engineering will provide a tangible advantage to players who enjoy that kind of deeper ship interaction and management. Overall, the introduction of engineering gameplay aims to make player choices matter and provide opportunities to specialize within various interdependent ship systems. Combined with physicalized damage and detailed life support modeling, engineering will contribute greatly to making ship operation and combat feel more realistic. Overall, this system is great. If implemented correctly, it has immense potential to redefine player interactions with ships, leading to emergent gameplay and player driven challenges. However, the gameplay should not be so complex where new players are turned off from engaging in engineering. This also leads to whether or not the rewards for engaging in engineering gameplay will be there. If there is little benefit, then most people will most likely just forgo it. For example, if the effort of two skilled engineers in a hammerhead would only yield an extra three seconds of survivability, the question becomes whether they would just be better as turret gunners or light fighter escorts. This needs to be a consideration when CIG implements this gameplay 
and hopefully with testing, it will be fine-tuned. Overall, the mechanics on the surface seem deep, which is great to see. At the end of the day, who wouldn't want to be Scotty on the Enterprise, 